So for this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a general matrix equation. Now for a matrix equation, you're going to have this matrix that's on the left side. Let's say it's a two by two. So it's gonna have two rows and two columns. And let's have the first row be AB and the second row be CD. Where all A, B, C, D are just numbers. So this is my two by two matrix. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply it by this matrix right here with variables. I'm gonna have an X in the top row and I'm gonna have a Y in the bottom row. And I call this my variable matrix. My variable matrix, because it contains all the variables. And then we're gonna have our equal sign. I'm gonna take my equal sign and put it over here. And we're gonna see what happens when we multiply this matrix on the left side by this matrix on the right side. So when I do that, I have to multiply the first row by the first column of the variable matrix. So I get A times X, A times X plus BY. Then I have to take the second row of this two by two matrix and multiply it by the column in the variable matrix. So if I do that, I get C times X, plus D times Y. So this resulting matrix is going to be a two by one, just like the variable matrix was. That matrix XY is also a two by one matrix. So this is the general matrix equation. And now what I can do is I can set it equal to another matrix, which maybe has different numbers. Let's say it has an E on top and an F on the bottom. So this two by one matrix is going to be set equal to this two by one matrix over here that I got when I multiplied these first two matrices together. And that's gonna give me two different equations. I'm gonna have my first equation on top I set the top row equal to the top row of these two matrices to get AX plus BY is equal to E. That's my first matrix equation. And on the bottom row, if I set the two bottom rows equal, I get CX plus DY is equal to F. So this is what I call my system of equations because I have two equations that are together in a system. So that's what a general matrix equation looks like when you're dealing with two by two coefficient matrices like A, B, C, D. And I hope that helps.